environmental uh, impact Mama. assessment Mama. process. Okay, so that means uh, that uh, the government has the role to play in every step. That's what I'm saying. Are we going to go for fair uh, royalties so, right now? Uh, the last oh, figures oh, that I got so we have to is we're oh, getting two percent. That's, 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 that's the work that we're doing. That's what that's the work that we're doing right now. So that we can ensure that we get good value to fix the roads after the extra truck traffic. Yes, six hundred and six thousand. So that's why we're doing the work right now to evaluate what is best, uh, what will work well for New Brunswick. And look, uh, I had a chance to sit down with the governor from Arkansas and uh, with some of the revenues that they uh, have received in Arkansas, just as an example. Drives. Their, their, uh, their education system before in the U.S. was somewhere in the bottom five. Yes, they're and now the top six. You know, and that's, that's Papa checks the clinics. Come on, they're dry. Mr. Alvarez, I want to care. let you know that I have no not given said. you permission to mess up my and our country here. I have not given you permission to do this and you have not asked us and not asked me. That's my personal thing here to say you. I have not given you permission and you are not democratic what you do. You are doing that, you bring, you leave the RCMP and our place. They never cared about us. And where we go now, we have RCMP, we are threatened. And it looks like hell when you go out and we have not given you permission and we will not. And you have so to take because you, you, you are have, you our servant, very, nothing very else. And I respect that fully. I have the responsibility to work on behalf. But of we have, have the right, right to be. Well. Already started, started with the mess. Not just have the right already started with the mess. Take care. But I understand. the areas where they. Our ministers, our ministers have been to go in Arkansas. And they give very different reports. Margaret Blaney and you gave very different reports about footprint in, in British Columbia. Yeah. Didn't you? Okay. Didn't you? My, uh, yes. the, if you were to go and see the footprint, you would see that it is not a large footprint. So how long has it been? Mr. Alder. Anyway, so take care. Can you just explain why there's no budget set aside to provide what the government is doing? Mr. North of last week told us there's no budget set aside by the provincial government to oversee what these companies are doing and ensure they're sticking to regulations. Can you explain why and there's no budget my, for that? My comment is we have a responsibility going forward to ensure that we have strong regulations and at the same time, <laughs> along with the regulations, has to be uh, adequate uh, monitoring and I agree fully that if you have regulations but you don't have that follow-up it won't work and that has to be there. I agree. So when will the budget be put in to monitor the company? Thank you. you can cross the Take care. Mr. Alward. Mr. Well, again, you face the protesters. There's no ATV news now. You can take your time. You face <laughs> the protesters. I'm a half hour late for I meeting Charles. But you face the protesters. Sure. That's good. Look, uh, pe people have the right to, uh, to demonstrate. Uh, we have the right at the same time, or not the right, excuse me, I didn't, uh, we have the responsibility hmm. to, uh, uh, to gather, govern the province, uh, to build our province. And that means economically, that means socially finding balance uh, between uh, the environment and development. And we will do that by ensuring we have the necessary regulations in, pr in place, the necessary monitoring in place to uh, mitigate the risk to uh, people and move things forward. You know, uh, Char Charles, uh, it's interesting. Uh, as we go forward, um, you know, there are a lot of things that governments need to be able to do with the people uh, of New Brunswick. And we want to be able to bring forward a catastrophic drug program. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to provide good education for our children, uh, provide safe environment for people to live in, and that's what we're working to do, we were clear with uh, our mandate that we ran on with our platform, and that's what we're doing today. One just final point: How much when Sean Graham government signed a contract with Shell Gas? How much would it cost to bail out on this contract? Do you know how much? I have no idea, uh, Charles. What you're even talking about? There, if you so. bail out, say Shell Gas, get the hell out. But Shell Gas isn't even here. So. But there'll be a penalty to pay. You know what I mean? Don't Take know. Care. No. 
Take care. Thanks a lot, Mr. Bergman.